Hey guys, Spencer 24 here. Coming to you on Thanksgiving Day. It's Thanksgiving Day in Canada, so we celebrate our Thanksgiving in October. You guys in the US, you celebrate in November. Yeah, I just thought I'd come on just to say hi and wish my fellow Canadians happy thanksgiving um i've had i have a camera all popped up so you're gonna see the student meal and all that and i am just coming on basically on thanksgiving to really give thanks um i did the thanksgiving dinner and all that yesterday at my parents um, my mom likes to do it on a sunday because she wants the Monday to kind of relax before she goes back to work. She's a teacher, so anyway, I just want to say, first of all, this is for Lisa, this part. I'm so happy for you. Lisa made a decision to go back to school, like myself a year, a year ago. And with going back to school, I didn't really get into the struggles. I think I did a video slightly about that but it's a real struggle when you're used to working when you're used to like doing your own thing and be independent as somebody with a full-time job it's hard to make that transition and actually take time off to finish your schooling and I know she made a video and I told her to just keep her chin up you know because she was really getting frustrated and I felt the same way too going back to school because I mean it does seem like when I went back although I have a husband or whatever I'm still very independent you know all kinds of shit just started to happen at the same time you know which financially was not planned for because all you plan for is the year that you're gonna take off and what money should go towards school and other things that you might need to take care of y'all this was very frustrating and i told her you know i know how it feels and she just did a video to say but things always look up okay you have to dig deep in your faith whatever it is that you believe in i believe in the lord in jesus christ and i know whenever it is that i'm at my wit's end all i need to do is call upon him and he answers back in a timely manner and that happened for you um, she got a job she got a job in her field the field that she's studying in and I'm so happy for her I didn't write a comment because I was um, watching the video on my Kobo which is my my ebook reader and I hate um, me responding on that it just like the typing thing just annoys me that touch thing so anyway Lisa I'm happy for you and I'm glad I just want to say I'm thankful for all the blessings that I have had. Um, I've been blessed to have a great job. I'm alone right now because my husband is at work. He works very, very hard. So I have a lot of time by myself, you know. And with my personality, <laughs> I'm okay with that sometimes, okay? When he comes home, we make plans, we do whatever we have to do. But, um, yeah, I had a very rough year. I didn't mention any this to anybody to some people know you know I had a lot going through this year and instead of skirting around the issue I'm gonna let you guys know I did um, I had a pregnancy in January I lost the baby and um, right now my presence of mind is so much different from what I was then you know I have found out that I had developed fibroids and Andrea Candida speaks about that and it was a very rough time for me because you know I felt you know like the one time that you know because okay 10 stories in one let me tell you about my history with children and wanting children or not wanting because I'm not one of those people who was ever like I have to have kids and I have to I've always kind of resigned myself to the fact like if I had kids fine if I don't I don't but at the same time when that happened to me I just felt so kind of defeated as a woman as a you know as somebody who could potentially be a mother I just felt I just I felt very low about the whole situation because at my age I turned 40 since then 
I just figured, you know, it was very time then, it was the right time and, and so on. But, you know, with time, time heals all wounds and I have so much more to be thankful for. Um, since then, I've, you know, gotten a great job. I've really been settling into my self and transitioning from not working to working and really enjoying a career which I never even dreamed of having because it's just something that I never planned for um, as far as and the opportunity just came to me and you know although I didn't have a lot of experience in that area specifically you know I presented myself well and I was able to 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 be able to be, um, they, they had the, 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 the confidence in me that I would be able to do the job and, and I'm doing it, you know. And with it comes a whole lot of, you know, extra perks and bonuses that I really never thought of. It has nothing to do with I, what I studied, studied in school. So to me, that's a blessing. And that's something that the Lord has channeled. You know, he channeled me in that direction and chose what he thought was right for me at the time. So with everything that happened, you know, I just wanted to be thankful, like truly thankful about what happened. Um, you know, even with the pregnancy and stuff, during that time, everybody on YouTube was getting pregnant. And, I, I, you know, I never compare myself to people because I don't know people's situation. But it was as if, you know, like, I mean, everybody was being kind of blessed at the time. And this happened to me. And I just kind of took it a bit personally. I'm human, y'all. You know, I took it personally and I kind of felt like, you know, so, so what happened with me? You know what I mean? And let me tell you, let, let's, let's be honest. I just felt... Like some of these videos I couldn't watch. I couldn't watch these ladies on here. So much as I was very happy for them, the only person that I could really watch and deal with and, you know, actually interact with and she knew was Lulu Matu Jackie, you know, and she pretty much understood. But all the ladies here that knew about what happened, I am eternally thankful to you guys for the support that you showed me. Um, hold on, y'all. And you would not know what you did for me during that dark time. I mean, it was dark, you know. I am usually a very strong person. Nothing gets to me. And even with that, you know, I just, you know, it was beyond my control. But of course, I'm human and I, you know, I felt slighted <laughs> in a sense. So, um, I I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for everybody. Who has lended me support I'm thankful for my life you know it could have been much worse I am a very healthy person I, I mean the only thing that I have to deal with is this fibroid situation and honestly I don't give a damn right now I'm not even being proactive with that you know I got some consultations and um, I'm just not I don't want to deal with it you know I will I guess and I'm gonna have to at some point but you know I'm just kind of I'm not I wouldn't say scarred because if I am to be a mother I will be a mother I didn't expect that I'll even think of being a mother at my age um, because I thought this would have happened before but I had no intentions of becoming a single mother and trust me it could have happened before it just so happened that I got pregnant then and it just didn't work out. But anyway, yeah, I eat. Happy Thanksgiving. And I just wanted to share a little bit. You know, sometimes you have to take your guard down. You know, I'm a very private person. But at the same time, you never know what you say. How it will affect others and how it will affect people. So, in saying so, I'm thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for all the friendships that I have kind of gained with this whole YouTube thing because um, you guys are closer to me than some of my so-called friends in real life. And I don't have much of those, okay? I'm not a person who really... I've not really held on to a lot of friendships. And, I mean, that's just how I am. Um... 
I'm so much like Candid and Andrea is like I'm my own best friend. I feel that way, but I have room enough to to open up because I ain't no fool. Like I'm not some social inept person that I, I can't have friendships, but you know, I'm a homebody, I'm a loner in a sense and to be embraced on this medium like this is wonderful. I love you guys. Alright, so I'm going to continue to pray for you guys because I know we all have our own struggles. Nobody is perfect, people. I am not perfect. I go through the same struggles that everybody goes through. Marriage is marriage. It's about compromising and I'm working on that. Okay, I just got married four years ago and that's, you know, it presents its challenges. You know, a person like me, a personality like me, I don't want to share nothing. Like, I begrudge my husband the side of my bed that I used to sleep on. That's as simple as that, you know. I mean, he has his own stuff. I have my own stuff. And it's probably not supposed to be like that, but it just works for me. Okay, I make it work for me because I need to be comfortable too. But yeah, y'all, I'm rambling. I'm going off on another tangent. But, you know, this Thanksgiving, I'm I'm thankful to all of you guys. And I know during that period, everybody who sensed that something was kind of off, yeah, it was off. And that's because you guys know me, okay? And everybody who reached out to me, personal messages and so on, I won't even start calling names. You guys really touched me and I appreciate it so uh, yeah I'm it's a great fall beautiful fall day I want to show you the surroundings but I won't be able to hook up this camera if I do I'm off to see which mall is open probably go to Vaughn Mills it's closer to me because you know until Hubster comes home I had a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner I didn't take pictures. I didn't eat much because that was another thing too guys. I had some whole dental business. I had to put some crowns on some tooth and that's a whole other story. But um, yeah, thanks for being there for me. Thank you for giving me life in that sense of just being friends and, and just being genuinely concerned about my well-being and what's going on with me. Okay guys, so I'm gonna part ways. My hair is, I have in Janice's um, product, the Ayurvedic concoction that she sent me that I absolutely love. I kind of did a braid out on dry hair. Was it dry hair? Yeah, kind of damp hair because I washed it and then I just pulled it back and then it kind of air dry and then I applied the product when it was like almost dry but um, it came out well. I just pull, pulled it out and just pulled it back with one of those hook things, ponytail hooks. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it for my hair. Um, I am eternally thankful again. I can't see it enough for everything. Everybody going through any kind of struggles, keep it you know. Put on yourself on your knees and pray to God to help you because he will come through for you. He will come through for you in a timely manner when he sees it fit to fulfill what he wants to fulfill for you. Okay? So, yeah, that's it, guys. I could speak forever, but I can't. I don't want to make this too long. Anyway, take care of my beautiful people and um, love you guys.